Aloha and how you doing? Welcome to Hibachi Talk. Gordo the Texar. I finally remembered it. Nice. Uh, here, please, uh, please, uh, buddy. Andrew the here. security guy. I'm here. He forgot that. But I know. Oh, it's, been, for it's been so long, man. I haven't done a show in a while. And our guest is Frank Luan. Frank, welcome. Welcome, Frank. Nice How's to have you. How's it going? Here. How's it yeah. going? It's good so to see you, you, brother. Yeah, so Frank is the uh, president and CEO of Net Lending Hawaii. We're going to talk about mortgages and mortgage fraud yeah. and all kinds of good stuff like that. Because so, you need to be out there getting getting a new mortgage maybe right maybe, away. Right away because the interest rates are going to go so up. The, at, we'll uh, let Frank tell that story. Tell, Frank can tell that story. So grab a chair. Grab yourself a libation. Yep. Please uh, join us. Uh, here's one. Cheers. And cheers. Yep. Welcome. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Ah, someone put water in my water. <laughs> anyway, um, so um, UH, what the little UH is doing? Oh, was that a little strawberry in there, Troy? What? <laughs> oh my goodness! A shock. Excuse anyway, me. University of Hawaii football team. We said at the beginning, we predicted at the beginning of this year that the University of Hawaii football team. Remember, we had um, um, uh, one of the puppets was on talking about it and said that uh, McTackle was on, and he said that UH was going to kick butt this year, and they are probably going to go to a bowl game. Yeah, they were chosen last, right? Yeah, chosen to finish last. Pre-season. Pre-season last. They finished they, second? They finished second in their division. Not so, bad. Not prognosticators. Bad. We don't need them. Yeah, we got it. We got it all here. At so, least when it comes with UH football. That's good. Good. So anyway, Frank, let's get a little background on you, and then I got... Uh, yeah, we like to let our audience know, know who are. Of course. Where'd you grow up, you so, know? Yeah. Uh, you look like you played football too. You didn't like you know, like a small guy. Uh, high school football. High school uh, football. Right Never made it to college. Uh, yeah, so originally from Texas. <coughs> oh, really? Oh, right yeah. right. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Okay. Great state of Texas. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right My on. My exes are in Texas. Yeah, mine yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Left them there. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so, so you grew up in Texas? Yeah. Grew up in but Texas. High school football in high Texas ain't no football. feet, you know, because everybody there, like, that's, that's kind of like college ball. Yeah, you know? that's the national yeah. pastime. Yep, yep. Big in time. that state. And then, uh, so you, you went to school there, and then how'd you end up in Hawaii? Uh, moved to Hawaii for mortgage okay. at the tender age of 20. Okay. Wow. So, yeah, came out here back in 2004. Did you go to UT or did you go to? No, you, no college whatsoever. Okay, so, so yeah, after, right out of high school. Right oh, really? Yep. Right on. Yep. Cool. Oh, good for you, that's man. Bold. That's, that's bold. I'm going to Hawaii. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Yeah, I yeah. guess so. So you, 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 and you just said, okay, I'm just going to go to Hawaii? Uh, somewhat, somewhat. Uh, okay. I think I got a call from someone out here. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, actually came out here with uh, Vai Tata. He's the head coach of Kahuku. Okay. So okay. me and him ran a mortgage company countrywide. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, back in you guys were countrywide? <laughs> yeah. So we came out here. I applied for a mortgage. Oh, you guys did you? Yeah, I got yeah. rejected. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think the whole world Those did. Guys, they were smart. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You used to be dead straight down here on... Bishop okay. Street. Yeah, right yep. on Bishop Street. Yep. So what did you you knew him from before? I met him in San Diego. Okay. Uh, he worked. He did mortgages there. Okay. And then we got solicited to come out here. Wow. Do mortgages out do here, mortgage. and he's from here. So yeah. Oh yeah. He's well well known in this community. Nice. So so you're and then um, but you you're at your own firm now. So you've gone. Yep. You you branched out and started your branched own. Branched out. Worked for a local bank. Then started net lending about four years ago. Okay. Well, now, so how long have you been in the mortgage business? That's a long time. All together, a little under 15 years. Okay. Wow. Yeah. So you know the ins and outs. Uh, hopefully so. He saw, I'd like to think He so. saw the big dive anyway yeah, and, the, and yeah. the big recovery. So know, that's awesome. I know. Yeah. So, and I, I, got, I got a couple scars. As much as you can learn, you know, yeah. from, I mean, you know, really. I mean, oh, yeah. what a crash, right? I mean, it was unprecedented. So. The ups and the downs. Yeah. Speaking of ups and downs, we have this segment we call, um, um, you know, got one tech job. <laughs> I thought you were gonna forget. <laughs> yeah, that I was know. close. So, so I was I was traveling uh, last last okay. week and found this one. So it's kind of like tutoring. This found yeah found this. Where tutoring. was this at? This Where was, were you? This was in Fresno. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, tutoring. You know, yeah, just not English, right? <laughs> I'm just not sure what it is. Oh but anyway, my gosh! So perfect. You know, got one picture. That's pretty funny. Yeah, get the real phone up. Call that phone number and see what happens. Uh, I don't, I don't think, think, so. think so. Anyway, pretty funny. Um, so anyway, let's talk. Well, let's talk a little bit about the you know. Uh, you know, how is the how is the market doing since the since the crash that you talked about earlier? I think it's recovered. You okay. know, the housing market's recovered. Um, the mortgage market's a little dynamic. Yeah. I think the last two weeks has been a little challenging with the new administration coming in. So even so, the Trump is factor. Is it fear? You may think people are afraid, or you think uh, people well, just the market, make a move? Uh, the market's responding to it. Mm -hmm. The equity markets, the bond markets. So okay. rates have increased about. 
point seven five percent. Wow, seventy five bits in a week. In two in, in, in about two, two weeks. weeks, yeah. And they haven't moved. And how long has it been since they moved that much? Uh, they were down at three and a quarter pretty much all year. Yeah. In the last couple of years, I haven't right. seen this big of a swing. I think, yeah, ever. they've sort of been moving like an eighth, right? Yeah, here or yeah. There, like they'll go like up, that. they'll go down. That's yeah, how they behave. Wow. And the Fed hasn't changed the. The Fed, Fed yet. hasn't. They're. They Talking think about they are. it, though. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think it's pretty. It should half be coming point, in the right? next couple of weeks, yeah. but. So that, will that mean then? What do you think? You think it'll? Yeah, they'll probably increase their rate by a quarter. Quarter, and then that mortgage rates are going to go again. Uh, there is probably going to be a response to that too yeah. in the mortgage market. So. Well, so, well put. There's yeah. probably going to be a response. Be a response. Yeah. yeah. He's yeah. not prognosticating this <laughs> direction. Just that there'll be a response. Well, you can't predict. You can't predict. So it so it heats it up, right? I mean, you know, obviously there's. Some people <clears throat> betting low, some people betting high, but people are making bets right now. They're doing what they got to do. But I don't <laughs> see four percent as being that onerous, to be honest with you. Well, it just depends on how you look at it. Like yeah. if you're buying a house in yeah. Hawaii, an eight hundred thousand dollar house, that mortgage payment from three and a quarter to four, it's going to increase your payment by seven hundred bucks. Yeah. So that's that's a chunk. Chunk. Yeah, that's I mean it's a, a month. A month, yeah. So, Good I mean, Lord. it changes the game up a little bit. It slows down the purchase market. Wow. Yeah. So, it's going to be interesting to see the next 12 months. Well, people, well, people just will buy condos. Like, they, they, does the, the people that are renting move into condos and the people that are buying condos buy houses? And they, Typically, you like the motion think. sort of slows down or whatever? Yep. yep. I see. But with all this inventory we've got coming up over the next number of months yeah that's a that's a unique inventory though i think that's reserved for buyers that can afford they don't care if it's a million and a half eight percent um, yeah a lot of cash buyers yeah so it's a different marketplace that inventory so is that you're not really seeing much opportunity in, in that area uh for lending no yeah. there's not a lot of loans going on oh, for is that, that right um so most of those higher end higher higher yeah. end and so on so now so what are all the different technologies that are going on? I'm thinking like there's all kinds of interesting things happening in this market to make sure it's all clean and the things that were happening in the past were not happening. Yeah, how was yeah. it how was it different in countrywide or be, or you know before '09 than it is today? Um, I like to call the last ten years how it was before the Wild West. It was deregulated. Yeah. So when you originated a mortgage, um, it was kind of. You did what you did, and then if someone found out, someone found out. Right. So now, how we do business today is every single component of the loan business is... Is watched over. Yeah, it is. Because well, it, like, it was like watching... It's checked. Yeah, yeah. it was like watching people write orders. I mean, they were just... They were just writing orders for mortgages. Well, oh, like, oh I, yeah. Well, you didn't have to document your income at one point. Yeah. It was like, you have good credit, sign here, we're going to close in 10 days, yeah. and here's your house. And there's Whoa. your house. Yeah, it was literally like I that. remember there were people that were putting on those, those like, uh, events, and you could go, and they'd show you how you could have a house that... You know, it's like five X what you could afford, but you could but arms and stuff. You could keep the lower, yeah, a lower, only, a lower rate yeah. for so long, and then all of a sudden, yeah, yeah. And so, what would you try to sell it in between there, right? Because you know, you could. You were trying afford to play it. the market, you know, right. buy it here and then sell it when it was a little bit higher. But yeah, we make, all kind of seen what happened there. Yeah, Whoa, <laughs> man, is that a lot? That's I mean, a lot of the reason why you, the market. You can hear that crashing, man. You can hear that when it was all. Well, it just up. sounded crazy. I sat through one of those when I was like, really? Yeah, like really. Well, I'm, I'm thinking, but I look now at, at um, what you go through to, to get a mortgage and things like that, and um, what I see, see like Rocket Mortgage, right? They, they're advertising on the on the radio and on television and on um, uh, on the internet. That you know, it, they're making it sound like it was in the Wild Wild West days. Yeah, well, it's unique. It's that technology what they're doing. Um, basically, you put in your information onto their site. And it pulls your tax returns, it pulls your pay stubs, yeah. it pulls your credit. Mm. So it pulls your bank account information too. Okay. Mm. So instead of having to provide your bank statements, your tax returns, all the documentation through an email, right. this technology actually pulls it from the back end. So you authorize And secures it, it all in one sure. site. At one location. Yeah. Okay. So it's pretty cool technology. Quicken has it right now. Okay. I'm sure the market will pick it up in the next wow. five years. So it's really cool. Like you go in, you sign up, you put in your information, 
and you literally don't hand over anything because it's pulling it from from. from oh, I know. I went in a few years ago and was doing some refinancing, and the paperwork that I had to take in because it was a, oh, after it's, the. Oh, it's a massive amount of paperwork. You yeah. should see our office. Uh, oh yeah, the stacks. Stacks. Yeah. Stacks. Yeah, stacks. I mean, pay stubs, bank pay, statements, tax uh, returns. Yeah, yeah. Uh, three you years. So, so, come signing day is still a stacks, but, uh, but in the in the application process, it can be there's a lot more automation. Uh, now there is. Okay. Yeah. So huh. that's where the industry I think's heading. What's the typical length of time it takes now to get through the mortgage? Generally, process? forty-five days. So forty-five. Yeah. Days. There's some lenders that are getting through in thirty. Okay. There's other lenders that take about three months. Yeah. So. That kind it's, of depends on, just on whatever. who you're working with. Well, if you're a sole proprietor like me, uh, try try when you apply for a loan, when they look at you and go like, ah, I don't think so. Yeah, it's black and white. Yeah. It's either you make the income and you're going to get the loan. Yeah. Or you don't make the income, there is you no get, loan. There is no loan. Yeah, the old days were, okay, you have good credit, sign here, here's your loan. Yeah. So they were sort of selling the American dream before right, that everybody could achieve it when realistically maybe people, it wasn't really achievable for them and they, yeah. got, and they got a house they couldn't afford. Everyone was stretching. Wow. Yeah. yeah. I, there's a, a where, my, where my, one of my family members lived, the house behind them, the family went and got a, a line of credit loan and then left, just abandoned the house. Oh. Just went and got a line of credit load, and then they just moved well, they, back. To, so they took and they, cash. And they moved, they moved, took the cash, and then moved out of the country. And yeah. They, oh, they just, so they just went bankrupt. Just, yeah. on We've the, seen a lot of that, like yeah. maybe wow. five or seven years ago. Yeah. They're just walking away from the property. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Take whatever cash they could, and then off they go. And then because yeah. you can't really recover the cash, right? Yeah. And then the bank, the bank gets it, and then they're sitting on it for who knows how long. Yeah. Oh wow. So that yeah, wow. it's, it's it's just kind of. I don't know this world. I mean, I've had a house. I got. I don't know, like well, 12 I years ago. I that house, so. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so we did refi how it these went kids, down. But. I've seen, look at these, these young adults, how they're affording, you know, these down, 20% down <laughs> well, payments. Well, they better get it soon if eight, it's going eight, up. $800,000 properties, which is what houses are now. You know, $160,000 has got to be coming from mom and dad or somewhere. Mom and dad, gift of equity from the parents' house, gift yeah. from a relative. Oh. Yeah. Especially out here in Hawaii. Yeah. I mean, yeah. To get into an eight hundred thousand dollar house, one hundred and sixty thousand dollars down, no. or you could actually get a um, that same house for maybe forty thousand dollars down, but you got to make the income okay. to support the bigger payment. So oh. then, do you make enough to support the seven hundred thousand dollars? So mortgage? that's why you've got multiple jobs, <laughs> multiple families, multiple jobs. Wow. Yeah. Um, and then you got to pay your private school fees and all those kinds. I'm of getting things. happier and happier. So my son's buying a house okay. in Kentucky, in, okay. in Louisville. Right. Okay. A couple hundred grand starter, right. maybe a little less, somewhere in that range. So, but I'm not talking about I'll get 10% down yeah. for him. Yeah. Like yeah. Have, which is half of it, right? Yeah, there you he's going to have the other half. Perfect. Perfect. So it won't be so bad. That's not bad. Okay. Well, with that, we'll take a pointed, we take a pointed pause. We got a one minute break. We'll pay some bills. We'll go get Angus. I don't know what he's been up to. We'll get Angus and <laughs> we'll be beach. back here in about a minute. Hi, this is uh, Jane Sugimura. I'm the co-host for Condo Insider, and we're on Think Tech Hawaii every Thursday at 3 o'clock. And we're here to talk about uh, condominium living and uh, issues that affect condominium residents and owners. And I hope you'll join us every week on Thursday. Aloha. Aloha, my name is Justine Spiritu. This is my co-host Matthew Johnson. Every Thursday at 4 p.m. on ThinkTech, we host the Hawaii Food and Farmer Series. We like to bring in folks from the whole realm of the local food supply and agriculture, anyone working on these issues, any organization or individual that has plans or projects. What kind of people have we had on? Uh, so we've had farmers, we've had chefs, we've had people from government, uh, larger institutions, everyone who's working to help make Hawaii's local food system that much better. So you can see us every Thursday and join the conversation on Twitter, and we hope to see you there. Thank you for watching Think Tech. I'm Grace Chang, the new host for Global Connections. You can find me here live every Thursday at 1 p.m. where we'll be talking to people around the islands or visiting the islands who are connected in various aspects of global affairs. So please tune in and aloha and thanks for watching. Hey, aloha everybody. Welcome back to Hibachi Talk. Um, we're talking about mortgage today. So for the security minute, I got a little bit of mortgage fraud for you. 
Uh, five people yesterday were indicted in New York, $33 million they schemed from about 60 people. Their deal was they tell you for a fee, they'll get your mortgage, they'll get rid of it for you. Um, I'll talk about a few of the things that you should look for, but something like that, somebody telling you that is wrong. These guys are going in and then filing um, these discharge of mortgage documents and then showing to you that it's been stamped, but that's only been filed. It was never actually approved. And so then they're charging these fees and taking that money. Um, so mortgage scams are out there. Um, some of the warning signs, um, you know, uh, especially if you're looking for a loan modification uh, and, and something to save your home, you know, you're vulnerable because your home's important to you. So, you know, if you get these guarantees that you're going to get a loan mod or, or stop a foreclosure process, or if somebody tells you not to contact your lender or a lawyer, um, some of the other warning signs, claims that uh, all, of their, all of their customers or most of their customers get mortgage relief. Um, if they ask for an upfront fee uh, before providing you with any services, um, if they accept payment only by cashier's check or wire transfer, um, or encourage you to lease your home so you can buy it back over time. Some of these things make warning signs that uh, these guys aren't operating uh, within the parameters of the law and they might be trying to scam you. Um, so there's a group, I think Zuri's got a logo here, Hope Now. This is a reliable group you can go to on the web, uh, hopenow.com. I think I see the, I don't know if she's got the phone number up for you, but um, these guys, if you want to check someone out who's trying to do some deals that don't sound right to you, uh, go do that and you can start here. This is a reliable resource. Um, so, Angus is here off the beach. Angus, what do you got for me, buddy? How you doing there? Good to see you, man. It's great to see you. You've been traveling a bit. We've been doing it. We've been traveling. I know. How you doing there, Frank? Welcome How's back. How's it going, buddy? You're doing really good. <laughs> you know, you got a wee a uh, gray showing up in your beard. Yeah. He's trying to match us. <laughs> yeah, boy, that's it. It's looking pretty stylish. You're Look, very stylish. You're looking good. Alrighty. I like the earring. Oh, yeah, the earring. Yes, that's, that's, that's like, Go chasing, Canada. You get the lassies chasing me. That's what's happening. Anyway, you know, I usually have a gadget, but, you know, it's getting near Christmas, and I'll start finding some gadgets. But, you know, I got a new segment I want to try out. It's called, you know, because we had the elections, right? It's called. We did? Yeah. It's, you know, it's called, it's called, you know your city's cheap win. Okay. Now, you know, so what do you got, got for so us? I got one. I brought this up on New Luana Avenue. You know your city's cheap win. <laughs> but now, when the light bulb breaks down and they duct tape it to the post. Oh I mean, my that's gosh. That's when your city's cheap. Come on. And that, that is live from Honolulu. Dude, there. That's the best you can think of, man. Unreal. Unreal. I just don't think they're spending our money right. Uh, guess what? You know your city's cheap, man. <laughs> they're not spending your money. <laughs> That's what's happened there. You know, I was going to talk a little bit about security, too, and just remind everybody about the health care laws and so on. In the past 24 months, phishing attacks on hospitals have been arisen the most. So just be careful when you're giving out your health information. That's all I'm going to tell you yeah. over and over again. So, you know, when you're out there, like, over 24 months, you know, look at that. Shoot, like, look at that. That's a gadget for you. That's a, a cat scanner. scanner. <laughs> And that's like, we can't well, I don't know where you get your health care, Angus, but I'm worried about you, buddy. I know. Well, yeah, look how good I look. <laughs> anyway, anyway, that's all I got for that's all I got for this week's show. And remember, to everybody, let your wing get free wherever you be. Hello, ha. Angus leaves us with a cat scanner that scans cats. Now, the health care information was valid, though. There's been a lot of hacking in that world. So, what about the mortgage world, Frank? You've been uh, you've been in a world that you saw really go. I know, I know people keep get taken advantage of and I think some of these schemes that these guys are running have actually happened here in Hawaii with with other people so how's the how's the industry they, did they did they purge a lot of people out is there or is this still kind of ongoing I was shocked at the, the size of this one yeah as you can see there's still some uh, some bad things happening wow. out there uh, but the the markets actually came in the regulators have come in okay uh, Hawaii specifically we have a commissioner Department of Financial Institutions. Okay. So we're highly regulated. Mm. If you sell loans, uh, you actually have to be licensed by the state, FBI background checks, awesome. credit checks every year. Awesome. Oh, really? So, yeah. So, so you have to have an FBI background check yeah, every year. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's December, so everyone's going through theirs right now. Nice. Wow. Yeah. So it's uh, a little make bit sure different. You weren't a bad boy during the year, you know, which is important. A lot of times they, they used to do these things and they just they did it once and let it go. You know, and right. so I think I think the annual checks. We were talking about that in another industry recently, but you know, doing them periodically, right? You shouldn't just be allowed to just have a clearance that lasts forever. Right. So, well, you're thing. licensed in multiple locations too. I noticed. Right? Uh, multiple locations, just all under the state of Hawaii. Oh, yeah. okay. We'll want to go to California one day. Oh, well, right. On. Every state has a different regulator. There's a different, different regulator. No. So, how many people are in do in the business that you're in here um, in Hawaii? 
I don't know for sure, but I'd guess maybe 500. Wow. Okay. Yeah, maybe 10 years ago, it might have been at 2,000. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, so, so, it, really, so yeah. it really did narrow down I mean, quite yeah, a bit. Anyone was a loan officer. Yeah. Is know? that right? <laughs> wow. So, so the bank, the, and that includes the banks, right? That includes the banks, banks yeah. yeah. Lending specific. Lending and specific. are they still the biggest? Yeah, the banks organized. lend the most, Okay. Um, in, at least in Hawaii. I see. Yeah. I find the banks to be the most difficult to work with, though. Well, they're banks first. Okay. They're mortgage companies second. Yeah. And credit card companies. So I when see. you get a mortgage from a bank, it's a little challenging to navigate through. Mm. Right. Um, At least 45 days, I can tell you that. Yeah, I think most of the banks are a little bit higher right now just because wow. it's... A well, challenging we, to get through the bank. When we bought our building, the, it was in uh, YPO at that YPO Business Center, right? And they we used the, a, the SBA had that 504B program. Oh, right, yeah. And we went under Bank of Hawaii, but with that, which is there's another group that handled that piece of it. Yeah. I forget their name out here. But it took like a year. Yeah. It was like a really, really long time. And you're a sole proprietor, done. too, so you've got that same thing. Show me your contracts. Does that just mean you're broke? <laughs> well, that, yeah. Sole proprietors? Have shown That's up? me. Okay. I'm a sole proprietor. Sure, yeah. <laughs> But anyway, that was a, it was amazingly helpful for us. I think we didn't have to put down quite so much. Right. We were able to get a, a good property, so and it's gone up like thirty percent. So I'm really happy. So, so what are what <laughs> are some are of good. the things that that people should be be aware of that you know, when uh, they want to start applying for mortgages? Yeah. What are the heads up nowadays that they really need? Yeah, to especially be, with interest rates going yeah. up, it's going to be tougher, yeah. right? You want to be careful who you work with. So okay. if you're working with someone, you want to ask them if they're licensed. Um, if you're here in Hawaii, you want to work with someone in Hawaii. Don't work with someone on the East Coast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And then protect your information, right? You got to send over your tax returns, pay stubs, all that stuff. Right. Maybe not email it, drop it off in person, okay. or send it on a secured site. Yeah, so fax, hard copy faxing or, it or is encrypted. Not one thing I like yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah. No, it should be encrypted. No like, cat scans. Yeah, yeah no, <laughs> no cat scans. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so that yeah, that's that's good advice. But work locally, you know. Um, and is there a place they can check the, on these people? Like you said, maybe five. Is there a list of, oh, of yeah. licenses? Oh yeah, it's okay. public information. You can like go online. DCCA I think or it's uh, consumernmls.org, okay. okay. and you can check anyone's name. Check awesome. anyone's name up yeah. there. So make sure that they're reputable. Mm -hmm. And so, how, so how does the industry work? So you own an office. You have agents that work for you that are also they all licensed, or they operate under your license? They're How's all that licensed. That's so awesome. if you originate loans in the state, you have to be licensed. Wow. If you do the back end paperwork, you don't necessarily have to. Like like administrative clerks. Yeah. Yeah, processors. And how does it, is that, do you also do the, who are the other guys uh, appraising? Or do you uh, do appraising or is that, is that a separate group separate of people? Separate piece. It's I a see. separate piece. They okay. have to be licensed too. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Good yeah. deal. Now, um, there, obviously you must take class, go to classes. Classes, uh, tests. Uh, oh, CEU credits? Like yeah. Every year, you, every ongoing? year, every yep. year you have mm -hmm. to go and, and take, you know. I think it's uh, 10 hours every year. Every year. What's the biggest impact to the to the industry for people that are looking to get a house? I mean, obviously interest rates going up is a big one. Is, are there other things coming that they should know about? Is it? Um, you know, right now it's just the income. I you see. Know, as, as the cycles happen, right. you want to get in before there's another bad cycle. I see. Because if you don't have the income, can't get into the house. Yeah, those so. people that went in with adjustable rate mortgages that are coming. Is that still happening? Are those still I around? I think they've kind of flooded out ah. of the pipeline. I have one. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, but, they're still but good it's, arms. It's 10 years old. I mean, yeah. it's been around for a long time. Not oh. all arms are bad. Oh, There's actually good arms. Yeah. And if they adjust, they adjust down. Yeah. Yeah. The but ones it, it that, happened to me, it adjusted down, which yeah. is kind of nice. If you're in a good arm, you're probably lower than most people right now, yeah. but the bad oh. arms is what got yeah. people Got everybody, got them burned. Yeah. So, well, well, so well, prime arms. And that's because they just didn't look at their income, right? It was what, what income dependent? Was just the, the nature of the product. I see. That was a Wall Street product. Oh. So, uh, yeah. That was one of these. Yeah, Wall Street came in, they financed mortgages, now they're out of the market. So Fannie and Freddie are the two main They broke, the, they they broke the bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. They, we the needed bank. bailouts, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, I know because I had I had one a arm bailout? that um, went. No, I never. <laughs> I had an arm that went up, but only because at the certain period of time that said I had to start making principal payments. Oh right, yeah, you had so, an interest only arm. Yeah, I had an interest yeah. only arm, and then at year seven or eight, it said now you got to pay principal, principal and back principal for the seven years you didn't pay Ooh. on top of the principal making, that you need to pay right now. Yeah. Most people don't understand that. That's so. ugly. It's, yeah, it's, it's it, an ugly so it was accruing. It was accruing interest. You just 
didn't have to pay it for yeah, seven years. Yeah, basically. You're, you'll pay it on That's your That's a lot side. of yeah, money. You'll, 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 oh, yeah. How long does that it, go? Like it, a 30-year deal? Well, it deal. goes until I decide to get out of the thing. You know, but, but guess how easy it is to get out of it now? Hard? Because you're a sole provider. provider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you want, like, you want to roll into I'd another like, product I'd, I'd like to. It's cause, you know, cause, you know, I'd like to roll it into something else. But it's just like when they look at it and they go, wait, you're semi-retired. You know, you've got your own company. <laughs> You're you got on no fixed history. income. Um, I wear you know, a senior discount. Not Dang, it's so vouch for you, man. I don't see the issue. Yeah, well, I know, and he makes a ton of money. So, I know. I talk to guys like Frank. He's like, "Hey, Frank, any chance to be getting a loan?" And they go, "No." Nice knowing you, but you know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll come on your show though and yeah, tell you I'll why come not. On your show, I'll Thank tell you. you why you can't get one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's have a beer. So it's, it's good stuff. <laughs> I think so, that's how the conversation went. I think yeah. it is, it is exactly how it went. <laughs> that's <worked>. awesome. <laughs> so, but I appreciate your honesty. No problem. It's, well, yeah, and it's good. I mean, that's what people need to hear, right? Actually, you need to know the truth, especially yeah, like right. don't, don't expose. How much income should people expose to a loan? Like half, or what's the formula that you guys are um, that you're typically looking for? Uh, forty to forty-five percent of your annual income. You could, you, your mortgage. People could say you could afford that in a mortgage. Yeah, that would count the insurance and everything associated. Exactly. What about maintenance on the house? Do that's they, all. In, uh, they don't. They don't. Uh, nobody take into consideration there. Because no. I got to paint though. mine. They should because yeah. if you deferred have, maintenance is big. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you got buy a fixer upper, yeah, and you qualify for the loan, but you can't for, qualify. You can't fix it up. Fix the roof. Oh yeah, yeah that's a problem. Uh, you know, that's going to be a problem. That's so, going to be an issue. Yeah, yeah. I got to paint mine now. Like it's like eight grand. You know, you know it's not cheap. No, oh, put put in a roof. No, to paint it. Oh, to paint the house. Yeah, yeah. So my Arizona house cost me two grand to paint it. Is that What's right? What's wrong with this picture? <laughs> Hawaii labor. I don't know. Yeah, I know. It's like that's it's, that, it's, maybe it's the price of the paint. It's so the GE it, tax probably yeah. bringing that ah, price up. Yeah, forty. That's yes, true because that's sixteen percent really when you look at how it's yeah. compounded. So forty to forty-five percent of your Net income or gross, gross income, gross income yep. is um, goes towards your mortgage payment. Mortgage and any consumer debt. Consumer that, that you've got yep. in there. So if you've got a car loan, you know, all of, all of yeah. those guys. And it doesn't take into factor your tuition either wow. for the kids. So wow. Okay, so. why that's a different uh, dynamic. Oh, yeah. Really big, big. So we got to close up in just a sec. So what's your website and where can people get a hold of you? And yeah, call Craig. So we have a really cool website, tech-friendly, www.netlendinghawaii.com. Net lending, okay. okay. Yep, you can check out all of our loan officers, our lenders that we originate for. Okay. And take an application. And take, a, and take an application. There you go. There you Get go. in before so, the market goes up. Yeah, it's going, yeah, it's it gone up, up three quarters of a point in two weeks. Because of Uncle Donald, from what I was told. Is that right? But anyway, um, you told me that. Yeah. So, anyway, <laughs> um, no one goes away on... Empty-handed. You got number ninety-five in the series. Episode that. ninety-five. Yeah. Download it later tonight. Yeah, you can so watch it forever. You can put whatever he gagged on in it later. So. <laughs> <laughs>